so I move into this apartment, and when I move into this apartment, I decide to send all of my nice things to North Carolina, all, and, then, and then I'm going to buy new cheap things to get me by. And I'm going to steal all of your nice things in North Carolina. Tactically no. acquire. We got a security system just for that. Anyway, so uh, I, ordered, I ordered this. All right. This so... is a knife block set, but it doesn't come with just knife block shit. It also comes with like a spatula and a spoon and measuring cups and potato peelers and a can opener and all like basically like a one condensed forty dollar everything you need in your kitchen to cook yourself food, and it all stores itself nicely because I storage is an, is it always an issue. Yeah. So I, I wanted to buy this at Walmart. Because I saw it at Walmart months ago. Months and months ago, I was at Walmart for something else. I saw that knife block. I was like, hey, this is the perfect thing for my apartment because it's small. Everything's together in one. Time comes to go buy it. I go to Walmart. Sold out. Oh, great. Fucking incredible. So I go on the Walmart.com. Hey, good news. It's cheaper on Walmart.com. And free shipping to your house. Free shipping to the store or free shipping to your house. I'm not going to ship it to the, to the store for free if I can just get it to my house for free. That's that's perfect. So I right. order it. It's supposed to arrive uh, sometime between Friday and today. And uh, the little FedEx notification on their website says that it's going to be delivered Monday. And then all of a sudden, Saturday, it pops up 1230, a delivery attempt made. Business not open or, or resident could not be found. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I live on to- on top of a store. The store is where packages get delivered. The store is open from nine to four, and you try to deliver it at twelve thirty and couldn't fucking figure it out. <laughs> like, this is bullshit. Yeah. So then, I resign myself to the fact that it's not coming Saturday, so it's not coming Sunday. So I can't cook myself any food because I don't have a shit to cook food with. I got pans, but I don't have spatulas to toss anything or knives to cut shit up. So I'm eating fucking sandwiches all the time. So then Monday comes around. I, I'm, I'm ready for this thing to get delivered all day. The fucking thing says that the, now the new rescheduled delivery day is Tuesday, not Monday, which doesn't make any fucking sense to me. So I, I, I I'm at home. I checked the delivery thing later that evening, Five thirty-seven delivery attempt made. Resident not home or business not open. And I'm like, okay, I was fucking home. And not only was I home, but I was standing on the street at 520. Yeah, the business was closed because they close at 5 fucking 30. Like, fucking plan ahead and try and deliver during business hours, 9 and 5, you dumb, dumb, giant asshole. So yeah. now, I resign myself, okay? I was already in, not anticipating it to get here until Tuesday, so... I'll just wait for it to come on Tuesday. Today comes around. I leave home for a meeting at 11.50. I get home at 1.35 and check the FedEx tracking. 12.07. Delivery exception. Could not find the address. You couldn't find the address? You couldn't find the fucking number on the side of the fucking door on... Like... (laughs) The, the street's called Elm. <laughs> you go down Elm, you count the numbers on the doorways until you get to the one that has the number that corresponds with my fucking house, and that's the one, that's the address that you deliver the fucking box to. And if you can't do that, <laughs> here's a fucking sign that I put on the glass door. FedEx, T-Bird delivery, call, and my fucking phone number. You didn't see this bright orange fucking, you, you didn't even look! You didn't even fucking look, you fucking idiot! Oh, God, what? Fucking incompetence. Utter incompetence. Like, this is literally your job, is to find numbers on buildings and then put boxes inside the fucking buildings. <laughs> the mailman does that every day. UPS is able to do it. Why can't you, you FedEx fucking moron? <laughs> so I call the FedEx fucking number that they, that they tell me to call, and I'm like, hey, I, uh, I've got this delivery exception. They say they can't find the address. But that doesn't make any sense because the first two days you said it wasn't open. So is it not open or you couldn't find it? Or did you just put dumbass McGee on the delivery today and you had some other different type of dumbass on delivering it the <laughs> last two fucking days? So I yell at this lady for a little while 
And uh, and she's like, well, we can uh, now we have your address confirmed. We can uh, have it delivered tomorrow. I'm like, I'm leaving town. I'm leaving town tomorrow. I just want some utensils so I can cook myself a warm fucking meal in my own fucking house like a man, <laughs> like an adult man. <laughs> so she transfers me to the local FedEx branch because I've yelled at her now. I've yelled her into submission. As you should. Talk with that guy for a little bit. How'd that go? Get to yelling at Get to yelling at him a little bit for a little while. He's like, I'm going to call the driver and see if and now we have your information, if we can have him uh, come by again today or if it's going to have to wait until tomorrow. I was like, no, 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 no. You give him my phone number and he can call me and I will come get the package wherever it is. I will find you. So what ended up happening, he called me and I had to drive across town to meet a fucking FedEx driver in the middle of a fucking liquor store parking lot. He didn't, he didn't ask for me for my ID, didn't ask any questions. I get out of the car and start walking to him. He's like, oh. Here's a box. Fucking take it. It could have been anybody. Somebody could have been coming to ask you for gas, and you're just like, oh, yeah, here, here, here's a box. You, you wanted the box, right? Like Mario, too. <laughs> so.